Hey everybody, it's Pastor John with your midweek moment for this week. And what I'd like to do uh, this week is talk to you a little bit about a book that I've started rereading again. It's a book called Bowling Alone by a guy named Robert Putnam. Putnam's a professor uh, at the Kennedy School of Government up at Harvard. Um, Bowling Alone came out, well, I guess about 20 years ago exactly. Um, and, and it was a, a big deal when, when the book first came out. And, and even though the book's 20 years old, it's still a big deal today. Because what, what Putnam talks about in this book is a problem that, well, if anything, it's a problem that's even worse now than it was 20 years ago. And that's sort of the, the breakdown in American community and the breakdown in something called social capital. Social capital is what you get when people come together in groups and in organizations, you know, when they get together in the, the PTA or when they get together in a fraternal society or in a service society like the Elks or the Lions or something like that. Um, social capital is, is, has that name because it turns out that when people get together in groups, not only is that good for the individuals who get together and have a chance for fellowship and to get to know people and all that sort of stuff, but it's also important for the entire society because it turns out that when people get together in groups, they develop virtues and, and things, um, ways of, I suppose, understanding one another that you can't develop on your own. It turns out that when people get together in groups, it builds up levels of trust, built levels of tolerance, levels of mutual understanding. Those are sort of things, like I said, those are virtues that you can't develop on your own. You can only develop them as part of a group. And one of the reasons that our society has become so bitterly divided over the past several years is, well, according to Putnam, it's because people don't get together in groups the way they used to. It's because over the past, oh, 30 or 40 years now, there have been steady drops in the number of people who are members of the PTA, member people who are members of local political parties, people who are members of fraternal organizations like the Elks or the Rotary or the Lions Club, uh, drops in the number of people who are members of veterans organizations like the American Legion or the VFW. And of course, there have been drops, as we all know, in the numbers of people who come to church. And that's important from the social capital standpoint because it turns out that churches are one of the best places for building social capital. And they are because when you get together at church, not only do you get together with other people, but you get together with all sorts of people. You get together with older people and younger people. You get together with liberal people and conservative people. You get together with Republicans and Democrats. You get together with a whole wide range of people. And it's that act of getting together that helps us learn to trust other people, to be tolerant of other people, to be accepting of other people, to serve and to help and to mutually support other people. And all of those activities are the sort of things that social capital is built out of. Now, now like I said, there, there's been a decline in, in a lot of those things over the past 30 or 40 years. And, and, you know, the thing about that is a lot of the problems our country faces are big, huge problems that... We as individual people can't really do anything about it, but you can do something about building social capital. In fact, it's something that you can do almost right now while you're listening to me, or actually maybe you should do it as soon as you're done listening to me. In fact, you can do two things. The first thing you can do to help rebuild social capital is come to church on Sunday. And the second thing you can do is to invite somebody else to come with you. Because it's like I said, when people get together in groups and places like churches, that they have a chance to rebuild that social capital. We have a chance to rebuild community. So if you're concerned about some of the problems facing our country and you feel like there's nothing you can do about it, well, like I said, there is one thing you can do. And if you want, you can start doing it this Sunday. Thanks. Have a good rest of the week.